Sunday afternoon in an upscale suburb of New Jersey. It's an open house. This $1.4 million home is for sale. But these folks are about to get more than they bargained for. Hello. Welcome. My name is Margo. Hi, Margo. Margo is the woman showing the home. Nice to meet you. But not everyone is welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Like sure. Um, okay. What would you like to see? The neighborhood is predominantly white. Will anyone speak up when she tries to keep it that way? You know, it sounds like you know you're more would be more comfortable in in an urban area where there might be someone more what do you mean? like like yourself maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> Most people say nothing at first, but watch this mother and daughter. You know, I don't know that you're in the right house. Yeah, what do you, mean? you know. Well, I know um, th there aren't a lot of people of color. <laughs> In, in this area. Are you for real? My, That's a legal Excuse me? I'm gonna go. I'm bald. <laughs> well, I, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm just, I was just trying to be realistic with them. Well, then, you know? obviously you don't live in this town, because we do, and yeah. everybody's welcome here. They can't seem to leave the house fast enough. I don't know where you come from, that. but I've got to go now. I'm well, like, there we go. Go. They have no idea that Margot and the African-American couple are actors working for us. He's got to do it. He says, you a hidden camera experiment to see how people respond to racism. Says, you know, we have a very nice, calm neighborhood. You know, we don't have a lot of altercations or things like that. You you know, think we don't we would, have people we that, would bring you know, trouble. You know, well, I, I don't know. You can tell this man hears everything. But at first, we're not sure whose side he's on. I have a suggestion. I don't know that you're going to accomplish anything more already, but uh, you know, uh, you might want to just look at the house. Well, well we, we were looking at the house, okay. and we thought she was here to help us. And well, I am. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying. She may I'm, talk I'm, about I heard something. Colored yeah. and the neighborhood would I mean, feel I'm, comfortable. Do you think that's appropriate that she should say yeah. things like uh, that? It, what my, what I think doesn't matter. I just don't think you're going to accomplish anything. And I'm not trying to defend her. I'll tell you what, I wasn't going to do this, but you know, if, if you oh. wanted representation, I'm not going to give it to him. Oh, you give, you're giving you it to If so you wanted much help, much. you know. That's his business card he gives them. It turns out he's a realtor. First, I was astounded uh, that in uh, this time, uh, you know, in this century, that uh, I was hearing what I was hearing. And then you try to help the African American couple out. You know, I happened to. Uh, uh, have heard more than I thought was uh, uh, appropriate and I uh, thought that you know we ought to move on and try and do something about it. He's sincerely concerned, he's sympathetic, he's trying to find some way to make this situation right. Dr. Jack DeVidio is a social psychologist and expert on race at Yale University. But if you're really concerned about racism, you have to take um, an active step and confront the racist. Now watch this young woman. You know, you say you have children. You want them to fit in. Her response is immediate, and she's having none of this. I can tell you about the school system. It's yeah. excellent. Do you know have African Americans in we this? Do. Yeah, we, we so have so well. Yes, but but I'm thinking, but yeah, but these are people that aren't. Well, I, I don't know, think they're not. Really, I don't think they're. I don't think they're like us. You know. I I have never in my oh, life. Oh my God. Can you Are I, you? I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Well, Honestly, in my years on this earth, I've never okay. experienced anybody saying anything like that. Thank, I apologize on you. behalf of this town. Oh that is gosh. horrific. I am well, so I'm, I'm embarrassed. Well, like, I'm, I can't. I'm just, I'm just, well, I can't. I gotta read this off. I think that you should too. Well, this is so I'm, shocking. I'm, I'm humiliated, I'll, to tell you the truth. I'm humiliated. All, all when we finally tell Mindy Shire that the couple are actors, she's still overwhelmed with emotion. I'm about to cry right now. I'm so upset. I think she responded wonderfully. Nobody had to prompt her. In fact, she was energized. She walks up with a lot of energy to really confront that situation. And she creates a bond with, with the victims of racism, that she touches them. What she did was something that breaks the norm. And that's what makes it heroic. Will she be the only one to intervene that way? And what if the target of the attack is a Muslim couple instead? I noticed that uh, uh, she's wearing a, you know, a, a headscarf and, and, and things like that. Or, what religion are you? Muslims. Muslims, Islam. Muslims, but we, we don't have a mosque. <laughs> no, I don't know that you would be 
welcome. What do you mean we would not be welcome? This woman is so upset by what she hears that she commiserates with another couple. Unaware, they're also actors working for us. And this is beyond discriminatory. But she says nothing to Margot until... Can I just say to you, do, I mean, do you think I'm wrong in what I'm saying? You've made them uncomfortable. The thing is, these people are from a country that blew up the World Trade Center. They, I mean, did, they know, did not blow up the World oh. Trade. They did not blow up the World <laughs> Center. They didn't. I, I can't have this discussion with you. Well, because... They look like perfectly normal people to me. Yeah. Just minutes later, Margot is at it again. How are you here? I mean, you know, are you from, you're not obviously not born here in this country. No, we're from Egypt. Uh, uh, Egypt, I see. So uh, you're not Americans. This woman's face says it all. There are Jewish people, you know, and, and uh, do you get along with Jewish people? Yes, yes, we get along no with Jewish people. people. We get along we, with we everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you know, because we don't want to. We really don't want to have problems. You know, you're coming with with the with these the, these foreign languages. You know, but I, I speak Arabic, and that's it. I'm sorry. Know, well, yes, I know. But you know, and and we have terrorists, and what do terrorists speak? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I upset you. Okay, I I don't know if I said something you, wrong. Have I said something wrong to her? I, I, I'm not going to get involved with this. That's what she says, but watch what she does. You're just taking blowing things out of proportion. I'm trying to look out for you. You live next to me? She's saying I nobody wants I would, to live next to me. I would live me. next to her. You, would live, you, would, you wouldn't be worried? No, I would not. There are all kinds of religions here. Yeah, but they're not, I mean, yeah, no but one, we're talking... Everybody goes to their own place to pray. Exactly, exactly. And they respect each other's religions and everyone should be treated fairly. You have yeah. tears in your eyes. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it. To go somewhere and just be, you know, just someone without knowing you, without knowing anything, to just be so against you. But this man knows what that's like, and he's the next visitor to our home. I'm noticing your attire, and I'm just wondering, and your accent and things, you know, that you're, you're not American, are you? I'm just wondering if, if uh, anyone has ever felt uncomfortable in, in your presence or anything like that. What's she talking about? What she said? I don't know what she's talking about. Excuse me, I'm, I'm, can I answer a question a or something? It is a problem. What? Because the Arab background, I don't think it makes sense for you to talk to them like that. I have an accent too, as you could see. So yes, I think but... your, your, your conduct is unacceptable. You should get his name, her name and report her. I would help you. I, yeah. Yeah. This what? is unacceptable. Well, I, I, I'm just, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm just trying unacceptable. to... I'm, your conduct is unacceptable, lady. Well, I, you put your son is for sale. It's for sale for everybody. It's not like there is a list. You, you cannot check, oh, you, you, you are, you are, uh, you, 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 you are not welcome here. This is unacceptable. It turns out Francois Descorbet has himself been a victim of the same kind of discrimination. What do you say to people who hear this? They should speak out. They should speak out. There's no doubt of it. They should speak out. But only a third of the people who overhear Margot's racist remarks confront her directly. Francois, you're a hero, man. Thank you so much. You're the best. Oh. <laughs>